going to have to excuse the fact that I'm doing this quick review with some stuff here on my table. Um, one is an app that I started using it on my cell phone a couple of years ago. I've recommended it to numerous of my friends who also use it on their phones. But it also works on a tablet that I have. Um, and I've got it on most of my tablets also. So this is called Planter, or I think it used to be called Garden Planter. They may, may have changed the name. Let me actually pull up what the name of the application is. Um, and I can sync it among all of my uh, devices. This is Android. I don't know if they have something available on iPhone because I don't use iPhone. So for all you iPhone users, you just have to look it up. It's called Planner. Uh, says there's the LLC that made it. Anyways, when I'm planning my garden in the planning times, I create an actual garden. Now I have raised beds, so I have bed one bed two bed three bed four and if i do a spring and a fall which would be your short season crops i have like bed one spring bed bed one fall or if i'm doing like long season crops maybe they'll just be one entry for each bed anyways let's go into bed one so you go in you basically create the size of your bed or garden um, and then you put what's going to be in there. Now with raised beds, I did it. My beds are four by eight. Some, some of my beds are four by 12. And I basically drag in the item that I want to have in that bed. And if I go to add plants, now this bed's already full, but if I go to add plants, it's going to tell me to do a tutorial, which I don't need to. So it gives you the plants, chives, garlic, leeks, onions, shallots. You can search by them. You can go in and edit them. So see where it says spinach, no variety. So I could select that. And then I can go in and find out about that plant. But if I have a specific variety that does really well in my area, you can add a variety they have a lot already created but you can also add a custom one now if you add the custom one you got to add all the info um, it tells you how to grow it so if you're new to gardening it'll even tell you how to grow it and it does herbs vegetables fruits I can't remember if it does I don't think it does like apples but it'll do some oh it doesn't do apples so it'll do like all the common things. I don't actually use it for my orchard, but I do use it for my garden and also my herbs. And anyways, this is a pretty nice app. Um, you know, it, it tells you basically like when you should plant, when you should harvest, all that stuff. If I go into calendar, there we go. Shows you when I should plant seeds indoors, transfer the transplants outdoors, or plant outdoors when you should expect a harvest, that sort of thing. Um, it also has some tutorials on how to start seeds indoors, what's square foot gardening, preparing your garden for winter, the importance of soil health, soil options for raised bed gardening. Anyways, so this is a great app to have. I want to recommend it. And, uh, Again, I'm not affiliated. I don't make nothing from recommending this. I just think it's a great app to have. And uh, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to review a book that I think is very helpful if you do homesteading. So anyways, I'm kind of winging this. I don't really have an ending other than the normal one. So as always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.